I'm telling you that even in person, I feel like I'm still not good enough for your trust. What do you want me to do? Please. Abby. Mm. <laughs> Mary and Brandon's all-consuming relationship continues to show extremely troubling signs. In fact, on last week's episode of 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, Brandon finally had enough of Mary's intense jealousy which has continued even though they're now together, 24-7 in the Philippines, and her reaction was shocking. Mary and Brandon are both 23 years old and their relationship this season has been concerning to viewers given their level of obsession with one another. While Brandon was still living in Oregon, the two video chatted even while going to the bathroom or going to the dentist. The jealousy over one another was so extreme that Mary had to quit college and dancing, and he was discouraged from seeing his own mother and sister. Mary even got mad when Brandon sat next to a female on the plane ride over to the Philippines, even though he had no control over who he was seated next to. On Monday's episode, Mary's jealousy continued when she took him to church. Even though Brandon isn't Catholic, he was willing to go to Mass since it's important to Mary. But all throughout Mass, she repeatedly told him to not look at other girls. So this is definitely a new experience for me. Can you see that? Yeah. That's Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just behave. Let's not talk because the priest will be here any minute. Just look like at the priest. Okay. Okay, baby. Thank you. Man, that's rough for our boy Brandon. Brandon even told the cameras this bothered him and that she would be mad if he simply turned his head. I'm trying to play it cool and be calm, but at the same time, I'm just like, really? Like, it's already a lot of pressure to just expect someone to basically adopt a religion. So Mary telling me that she doesn't want me looking at other girls is a bit much. Don't look at girls, okay? Like I told you. Okay. Here we are again with Mary getting insecure and jealous even though we talked a lot about how that won't happen anymore. To be physically controlled, like where I can look, who I can speak to, I don't think anyone should have to live like that. I just feel like I can't win. Don't look at girls. I know. It can't be like this forever. Behave. Later, Brandon finally confronted Mary about her over-the-top jealousy, which she said would stop when he arrived in the Philippines, and they were physically together, but she clearly didn't mean that. When he said he was upset because of her lack of trust in him, she started crying and said she just couldn't stop herself from being jealous. I just can't stop myself from being jealous. I'm afraid to be left behind. A lot of people promise me that they're not going to leave me, but they leave me. Mary, who was raised by her grandparents and still lives with them, told cameras that her parents left her and her brother when they were kids. Not only that, but she blamed herself, and every time she meets people, she is afraid that they will abandon her once she starts to love them. I don't like it, but I can't stop it. I don't like it, but I can't stop it, she admitted. When Brandon asked her if she'd still be jealous all the time even if they got married and had kids, she couldn't give him an answer except maybe, and when he said that wasn't good enough, she burst into even more tears. I need to know. Maybe. It's kind of hard to hold on to, maybe. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> do what you want me to do. Uh. I 
I want you to trust that I can look and talk to anyone without leaving you. And then find someone else. Brandon pointed out that he did everything she asked, even letting her hang out with her all-male friends, even though he wasn't allowed to be around any females in Oregon, and all she had to do was trust him. I'll get the respect of your family. I let you hang out with your friends. But you know what's important to me? Being able to, like, go about my life. I can't be limited like this. You don't need to ask permission. I'm not asking for permission. I'm telling you that even in person, I feel like I'm still not good enough for your trust. What do you want me to do? Please. <laughs> At this point, Mary had a total breakdown and said she couldn't breathe. In a preview of the next episode, a producer had to intervene and get her an inhaler. Brandon then has his own breakdown in front of cameras, also shedding tears. If you're interested in having more recaps like this, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.